So, they say, uh, maybe we could do math like the Egyptian pharaohs, you know? So they had all these crazy science projects. I'm like, what are you people doing, man? And says, well, they named it Efex. But their Efex, you know, was like a TTS, you know? They said, test the system, you know? So they had TTS communications through fax machines and stuff. It's like, you know, text to speech, okay? So now they go to fax. They fax it through the electronic system and they scan it and they're trying to figure it out. I get to the other side, a guy reads it and starts talking about it, you see? So it's text to speech. Ooh, man, if you read a book, you know about that, right? So I go, you know. So they come up with e facts, you know, electronic facts. Well, it must be a fact. I read it on an electronic, you know? Electronics, man. You know about God's electronics yet? He says, no, I don't know. So I says, okay. So you had effects, you know? And it didn't get the effect that they wanted with your effects. So the affect, you know, that came out from that was bad. So there's like, anybody got that Aflac insurance? Oh, the American flak, you know? Everybody giving everybody flak, so we need flak jackets. Flak jackets? What are you talking about? You guys ever talk to AI? Flak jackets, you know? You know, they're flicking their lighters and burning stuff down. So we're like, flick jackets? No, man. Come on, you got to get a little God heavily training in there, okay? Now, if you get to Florida right with some intelligence, the abbreviation says flight jackets. Okay, flight jackets. We've got a plane flying over. Hold on. So we'll get it in the dark, man. Well, there it is. Oh, oh, perfect timing, man. You see that space mechanic stuff, man? Woo! That's God talking, man, okay? Now check it out. So what we had is, we're moving all this dirt around, man. Everybody's slinging dirt. And they're like, man, you know, we got plenty of dirt already out in the desert, man, from that kind of stuff, man. You know? Even in the dark, you could see it, you know? And it says, man, you're telling me all those effects didn't get the effect we wanted, and it affected, affected the planet everywhere man so this is a small example of the desert a bunch of dirt heels you know so tell you what it said test the system somebody please test the system we want to see if it works so we can say look it works wrong try the system and if it don't work make it better make America greater now that's a mag for a magazine you know for books good American media if you turn it around backwards you're like man yeah now that's a game and we call that in the US Navy we call it a game plan and so people don't play games and destroy the world it's a game plan you get it good American media education plan for the extraterrestrials you know the angels and the aliens game planet Oh, man. Now that is a pretty good design, huh? Now, the last summer I said, hey, let's all get a little crazy, figure out what we're going to do, you know, because everybody crazy because they were doing drugs. I'm like, how do we get them off drugs? Well, if we give them the crazy stuff with reality that's good, they won't try to escape from reality. I was like, man, people doing drugs escape from reality and doing crazy psychedelic stuff? I was like, you got to be kidding me. You know how much crazy, cool psychedelic stuff there is in the natural world? Well, if we could show them that and give them a glimpse of what God has in store for them, maybe they'll stop doing drugs, you know? I'm like, man, what a game plan. Hey, the E.T. phone home or what, man? You know what I'm saying? Can you guys get that yet? I said, man, we're going to start seeing some UFOs flying around. Hey, you guys see those planes up there flying you can't even hear? You know? They're like, well, they got spooked out when we flew the UFOs by, man. They flew so fast that like, the cop couldn't even get on radar, man. Like, Phew. Man, did you see that? Somebody call that Secret Sheriff's Association, man. We got aliens running around. It's like, oh, man. Okay, maybe we'll make a little lesser version of it. You know, like a commercial plane. You know? Commercial plane? Yeah, you know, the commercial planes you fly people around with on vacations and stuff? We said, maybe we'll make a commercial plane this time. You know, a commercial for the angels and aliens, you know? That's like a AAA service for everybody, man. So we fly a commercial planes for commercials. You know, but not on TV in the real world, you know, up there in the sky. And everybody look up and they go, there's a plane flying up there. And they're chemtrails. No, those ain't chemtrails, man. That's where the oxygen and the water is mixing to make clouds 
from the back of the plane to show you it's alternative fuel. That's why you can't hear them. It's so quiet. And it's like, man, now that is what I call a commercial jetliner. It's like, man, what are you talking about? Man, I said, can you tow that line all the way across the sky? I mean, we had a little propeller planes, you know, with a little banner behind it saying Jesus is alive. And then we got, did you get that line from heaven yet? Mm, whew, there's some planes up there flying, man with natural trails in the sky. Now that's a sign of dragging behind the plane. They ain't wasting materials to do it, you know? That's sign language, without the sign, you know? See what I mean? Now that is some really cool stuff. You know, so I said that, you know? Data, angel transmission. You know, like data from Star Trek, you know? That's why they call the space missions STS, Star Trek system. You know, Star Trek, hey. You guys walking around getting some of this education yet man hey yeah, it's kind of hard walking around in the desert so we make cars and jeeps and airplanes and helicopters and well we gotta build stuff faster and get some greenage out there you know like uh not just the money but you know plants and trees and grass and stuff so we need a little better helicopter so we need a little money to build that with you guys think it could help us out okay now the other thing is uh why you're walking around with your two feet you know we're like man it's kind of hot out there, so we needed some shoes, man. That's why they made sandals, and they called them sandals. It's like, man, everybody flip-flopping around out there. Hopping like hot potatoes, man. Hot potatoes. You know, they got their flip-flops on. Woo, hot potatoes, man. You know, so they called them sandals. You know? And it's what's sandals? Sin A-L-S. Whoa, what do you mean? Sin alien law system, you know? We need some of that alien law system, angel law system down here. Get some people some hot sense, man. We're hot potato one right now, man. Woo, hot sands, you know? So we say, well, maybe we'll put some of that alien technology down there in White Sands, New Mexico. You know, White Sands, because, whoo, hot potato, man. You know, International Space Station, we'll put some of that stuff on the satellite system and go, universal satellite system, and go, what's that? Well, eventually, you know, if we get one of those guys to wake up from the charter system, you know, you know the charter system right and it says man he knows all about all this different psychology all these people's problems and stuff you know and he knows how to read that dsm which is the media service diagnosis it says man now that's universal language too man that's ul requirements in case you guys didn't get it they like listen to the radio waves all last summer and it's like mr kirk said look here's a radio waves and here's the algorithms you know and it says hey whatever you guys are thinking it's like doesn't meet ul requirements Universal love is universal language. That's a lot of mathematics, man. So we're like, whew, hot potato, man. We gotta get everybody in shape, man. We gotta do some work out there in the desert, man. We don't want them falling over dead, so make sure to stay hydrated. So I said, man, anybody dig up that video yet from the Army Corps of Engineers about that guy named Joe they put in a time capsule? Whew, the Christ, were they thinking, man? That's some TC stuff right there. Well, it says, well, you know, that's the church, man. We made a space camp. They go, what is that? You know, the Christ space camp. You know, we got a lot of them waking up now, man. They're like, whew, man, I can't believe it. And I says, well, that's why you called them sandals, man. Well, hot potato went out there in the desert, man, eating them salt tablets going, man, you remember the ocean has got salt in it? Whew, it's so dehydrating out here, man, eating these salt tablets and we ain't got enough water, man. And they're like, man, you mean those United States soldiers Went over there to the desert, and they're eating salt tablets to tell us that we need water, and they're getting there dehydrating and dying for the Middle East. Then they know they need water, but they're eating salt, knowing it's going to dehydrate them. And they're out there in the desert saying, "Look at how many of our soldiers we sacrificed for the Middle East, for science, for the world." Okay, so thank a veteran, and thank the United States of America.